Venture backup and recovery can be both installed on a dedicated basic server or on the hypervisor as a virtual machine. To install Venture backup and recovery on basic machine, you can burn the downloaded ISO image to a DVD disk or make a bootable USB drive to install. To install Venture backup and recovery on your hypervisor, you can simply create a new virtual machine and boot the virtual machine using the downloaded ISO image. Now I will show you how to install Wrenching Backup and Recovery on VMware ESXi host. Open the browser and open the ESXi server with interface. And enter the user credentials. And the first thing you have to do is uh, uploading the installation image to the EXI server storage. Click on the data store browser. And I have done this already. If you haven't uploaded the installation image, click on the upload button to locate the file for uploading. And this will only take a, take a little while. Okay, let's start creating a virtual machine. Next. You have to give this virtual machine a name. Let's see. Version, version 6. And select the OS family. Linux, of course. And uh, CentOS 7. Next, and here choose on which storage to install. And next, as this is for evaluation only, so I will give two such a course and uh, four GB memory, 50 GB hard disk, and send provisions. And uh, next, for the DVD drive, we have to choose uh, the storage, which we have uploaded the installation image and select the image. And next, and finish. Uh, now we can power on this uh, virtual machine and start with the installation. And let's view the console. Okay, press enter to start the installation. Now we've come to the installation summary. Some settings here needs to be done. First one is the installation destination. Uh, when you choose select the virtual desk, we have assigned to this virtual, virtual machine. And then done. And the next is the network settings. Uh, the network settings are very important. First, make sure turn on the network adapter and then you can configure the host name if you wish and next configure the network profiles click on the ipv4 settings and the method should be manual and add add a valid IP address here After this, specify a valid DNS server and the save and done. Um, now
now we can begin with the installation. Let's click on begin installation. And uh, from now on, the installation will be done automatically. Uh, all you have to do is uh, wait patiently until, until all the installation has been completed. So now the installation is completed and we can simply click on the reboot button to uh, restart the engine backup and we can reserve. And by the way, it will perform some post installation during the first reboot. So please do not power up engine backup server at the first reboot. Otherwise, the installation might be incomplete.